Hi, in this video, I want to show how we can uh, set up a split navigation menu in Genesis. Uh, this is a Genesis site that uh, has Genesis sample as the active child theme. And we have the standard elements at the top, which is the site header, having the title area at the left, and the header right widget area, which has the search widget appearing on the right. And below that is the standard primary navigation. Um, let's first add a home menu item to this primary nav. So I'm going to go to appearance and menus and then edit the menu that has been assigned to the uh, primary uh, navigation location which is basically after header menu. So I'm going to go to view all and then click on home and then add to menu and save it. So when we come to the front end and reload the page, you can see that uh, the first item is home. Uh, so what we want to do now is to basically move this home to the middle. Uh, so we have three items on the left and then three menu items on the right and then change this to an image logo. And this entire thing can be done uh, with one single step, provided we have the code in place in functions PHP and style.css. So I already have that code. So I'm just going to go to appearance and header. And uh, you can see that uh, the size that it recommends is 200 by 200. Uh, this is basically the 2x size. So the actual logo size that I want to show is 100 by 100. So that's why we have entered 200 by 200 in PHP. So let me upload an image. And then click on save and publish. So when we go and reload, what's going to happen is this, this entire site header will go away. And then the home menu item is going to be replaced with this image. So all we need to do now is go back to the menu and just move this to wherever we want. So we want that in the middle. So just save the menu, come back and reload. And there we have the split navigation. And this is, uh, we, we're not using negative margins or things like that, no hacks, just pure clean HTML and CSS. And the way that this is set up to work in uh, mobile is a responsive use is that as you reduce the width of this window at certain stage, I believe it is 1023, What's going to happen is that uh, the logo will be there and the, this other menu items will be collapsed into the hamburger navigation. So when you click on it, you can see it has portfolio, blog, contact, shop and all that as you expect with the logo at the top. Alright, that's it. I hope you found this helpful. Bye.